Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is probably one of the most requested one. Yes, we are doing the skin retouching tutorial finally and it's going to be super fun and super easy. It's not an in-depth tutorial on skin retouching, rather much simpler one. Anyone with basic knowledge can pull it off and to top it off, you can achieve this look in under 15 minutes. Yes, you heard me right, in less than 15 minutes. So without any further ado, let's roll the intro. So here we are in Photoshop and before we begin this video I wanted to let you guys know that this video is divided into four different parts that is cleanup, frequency separation but with a twist, dodge and burn and finally sharpening. So let's get started. So this is the image we are going to work with. This is an image from my recent shoot with Shreya Kale. She is an amazing, amazing model and I have linked her profile in the description. Make sure you guys go check her out and give her a follow. So let's get started with our first procedure that is clean up. So the first thing that we need to do is make a new layer and to do that you need to press Ctrl or Command Shift N or just press this little plus icon and then punch into your image a little bit to see the details a little better and then use this tool called spot healing tool this is going to make your workflow really 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 easy and then keep them in default settings the only thing that you need to check is this box called sample all layers and then start brushing over the blemishes it's that simple the only thing that you need to keep in your mind is you have to be really really precise and you need to give your time to this procedure because if you remove all the blemishes here the frequency separation that you're going to do will be much 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 more better than to do it in frequency separation itself take your time and make it as clean as possible here itself in the first step i'm taking my time i'm looking everywhere and you know pinpointing all those little little details once i'm done here is the result before after before after and we are done with the first step now let's move on to our next step that is frequency separation but with a twist and to do that let's merge these layers into a new layer by pressing ctrl or command shift alt and e and duplicating this layer by pressing ctrl j now let's rename the lower layer as low and the upper layer as high In the lower layer, we will be isolating the colors and inconsistencies and we will only have texture in the upper layer. Next step will be to momentarily disable the layer high and working on the low layer. Now here's the twist. You must have watched hundreds and hundreds of videos on frequency separation where people use Gaussian blur to isolate the colors. But in our case, we'll be using a different method called median. And to do that, let's click on Noise, Median and increase the radius up until we lose all the details from the skin. And then press OK. So this is what it looks like. Now let's enable the high layer and work on it. Let's go to Image, Apply Image. Change the layer to low, blending as subtract, scale at 2 and offset at 128 and then press OK. Now let's change the blending option of this layer to linear light and group them both by pressing Ctrl or Command G. Now let's rename it as FS or frequency separation. Let's open it up and duplicate the low layer. And let's rename it as low work. Now is the time when we use the best tool in the entire procedure that is mixer brush. This tool is going to help us save plenty of time. Let's go ahead and select it. These are the settings. The only thing that you need to keep in your mind is we are only going to use unidirectional strokes. We are not going to mess our image up by brushing all over the image. Only unidirectional strokes. So let's go ahead and work on it. Let's start by stroking over the image. Stroke over the inconsistencies to fade them away. 
don't paint over the highlights remember this take your time give this procedure a lot of time make it as precise as possible so this is the part where your skin starts looking like it's perfect also keep it in your mind don't overdo it since this can make or break your image only brush over the inconsistencies to fade them away you don't have to brush all over the face only in the inconsistencies take as much time as possible and make it as precise as possible before after before after before after before after now let's go ahead and collapse this group and now is the time for our third step that is dodge and burn for that we'll need to start with adding check layers or help layers and to do that let's make a new layer and then fill it with 50% gray press okay change the blending option to color and change the name as check layer then let's add a curves layer add some contrast and then group them both and call them as check layer now let's go ahead and open fs and we'll make a new layer just over the low layer name it as color fix since we are going to fix all the inconsistencies that were left after the frequency separation we will only be using black and white brush with 100% opacity and 1% flow since the intensity was a little higher on this one i'm going to switch the opacity to 70% and brush over all the inconsistencies with white brush it won't take much time but you need to be calm during these situations let's turn off the check layers for now a quick before and after if you think you have done a little too much you can always dial it down by using the opacity slider and here's the before and after now let's make a new layer fill it with 50% gray again blending option to soft light and we'll be darkening all the dark parts by using a black brush with the same opacity same flow this will help us give this portrait a little depth dab over all the darker areas only now let's group them all and name it as skin this is the before and after so we are basically done with the skin retouching part let's move on to our fourth and final step that is sharpening and to do that let's merge them all into a new layer 
let's go to filter other high pass let's keep the radius at 1 and then press ok now change the blending option to linear light and then zoom it a bit and see the before and after and this is what the final image looks like and just like that we are done with the video hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it if you did please comment down and don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends thank you